All right, this is the second video in this two-part um, series on why they should bring the 130-key Chemnitzer Concertina back to life. Um, one of the biggest reasons is because, um, aside from its super big versatility, um, it's um, a uh, oh yeah, it's um increased it's aside from its super big versatility um the the inventor albert mechanicky is a really musical genius who um really made that instrument a lot of fun <laughs> okay so um when you first get your 130-key Chemnitzer Concertina, <laughs> um, the butt, you're going to see the layout of the buttons. It's like this. So The uh, ultimate Chemnitzer Concertina, this one, has 65. Has um, The largest number of buttons that Chemnitzer Concertina has is 65 buttons. So 28 on the left keyboard for the bass notes and 37 on the right keyboard for the treble notes plus the air button <laughs> so we label the fingers on both hands as one two three and four and and um you can see we can rest them on we have three rows of basic three rows these we have the most common room and you can see the the b number the bold numbers the buttons with the bold numbers are five six seven and eight <laughs> and um those are the uh, basic home base buttons the center row this row is in the key of um so when you when you push the bell when you press those buttons and push the bells and you get an A chord and you pull them out an E major chord. So um, this row is in the key of A. That's why we call it an A box when it's in concert pitch. Because the center row is in the key of A. And then and you can see Albert Nicky um next to his twin his um twin 130 key chemnister concertinas <clears throat> one of the reasons why the uh, 130 key chemnister concertina has a really lush sound um a complete bass and chord system is unlike all many other chemnister concertinas that are from single weed from one that are from like set of reeds to five sets of reeds from like single reed all the way to a quintuple reed. Um, Nikki Albert Nikanikis is, um, I believe it's actually a sextuple reed. It's a sextuple reed Chemnister Concertina. That is six reeds per note. <laughs> so um, it's like the six sets of bass reeds on the accordion. You have six reads per note from both the bass and the chord notes, which gives it a really good shimmer. Um, treble keyboard is two lows, three middles, and a high, making it the most compact um, Chemnitzer concertina with a good, yeah. And there's also, I believe, L-shaped reed blocks to make the instrument a little more compact. And it also mellows out the concertina sound. The result is a really lush sounding concertina. So uh, Albert Nikanicki arranged some music for the 130 which is adapted from all the other versions. Um, so because it has a complete bass and chord system, you have all the um, you have a full 
Um, here's your chord chart. So you have all the bass notes and all the chords. Therefore, a complete bass and chord system. Thanks to the six sets of reads so that every bass run and modulation is easy. So here is the keyboard chart for the 130-key canister concertina. So you can test each button with the master switch by doing um, pull press. That is pulling the bellows out when there's no um, triangle. And when you push the bellows in, there's a triangle above the notes. So go through each row and you can show them what it sounds like. Um, you can hear, and every note on the chemistry concertina is played in octaves. Um, so it really gives the instrument a super lush sound, like a choir. Because the 130-key chemistry concertina is fully chromatic, you can literally play a full chromatic scale. You can play it in the right hand, pushing the bellows in, pulling the bellows out, and also in the left hand, pushing the bellows in, and pulling the bellows out. You can also start on the left hand and go to the right hand, both pushing the bellows in and pulling the bellows out. So it's um a... Hold on one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, got back. Had to take my melatonin. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. The 130-key Keminister Concertina is fully chromatic, which means you've got a full uh, chromatic um, scale. So the instrument's range is over five octaves, since we have six sets of reeds. It really is a good... <laughs> this is a really lush sounding concertina <laughs> that's playable. And yes, again, like I told you before, same layout as the other, the 104 key, but again, few keys were repositioned to, um, yeah, again, a few keys were both changed and um, repositioned to make the thing playable. So, um, playing in every key on the Chemistry Concertina means you have... You, you have two octave major scales on the right, left, right hand, except for the key of A, it's a three octave scale since you have three full octaves. You have two octave major scale on the left hand, a one octave chromatic scale on the left hand, and your chords, both pushing the bellows out and pulling the bellows in, pushing the bellows in and pulling the bellows out, yes. And your chord exercises, so, <laughs> We have it in all 12 keys. So you have it in, in the key of C. So cycle of fifths. So following the cycle of fifths, we go to the key of G, the key of D, key of A, key of E, the key of B, the key of F sharp or G flat, the key of, sorry, C, sorry, so the C sharp or D flat, right there. What about the key of E sharp? Uh, that's a little, sort of like a flatter F, there's G sharp or E flat, um, D sharp or E flat, A sharp or B flat, and finally, um, F. Um, oh, drop my baton. <clears throat> Ready? Let me raise my music stand a little bit. There we go. Um, it's a little hard to see the notes. Um, it's really easy to see the... Uh, uh, to see the... Uh, fingering charts, but it's kind of hard to see the uh, 
the music notes because they're just so tiny. Um, there are 20 songs that Albert Nakaniki arranged for the Chemnitz or Concertina. So, we have the, um, so with, and they sound great with, um, when you use all the sets of reeds. So you have the saddle horse, uh, polka, uh, Crime Kermi Mess Waltz uh, Concertina Holiday um, Holiday Polka California Polka Vienna Light Vienna Light uh, Yeah Vienna Life Waltz by Strauss um, Little Goose Polka um, um, Little Goose Polka in all 12 keys, um, because again, the 130 Chemnitzer is fully chromatic, so this is a great way to, um, to get used to playing in every key. Then here is Springtime Polka, the Green Grove Polka. The Minute Waltz, Hel Helena Polka, um, Monkey Polka, um, our national, um, Star Spangled Banner, um, our national anthem, aka To Ancron in Heaven, which, um, you could also sing that one in Spanish because, yes. It's singable in every language, so National Anthem, U.S. National Anthem, Emperor Waltz, uh, Repaz Band, March, and Two-Step, Over the Waves, Waltz, Menuet by Beethoven, Vina Dreams, Waltz, by Rudolf Ski. Um, yeah. Sesk of Last Polka. And finally, Kazards by Vittorio Monti. Um, and you can see it goes. And because the 130 key Chemnitzer Concertina is fully chromatic with its three octave treble and complete bass and chord system. You can see goes from this low A below the staff, so it go, you can see and measure four where you um, go. We go from the. You can see you are going from the A below the staff, and then going all the way up to the A two octaves above the staff. Told you it's a fully chromatic Chemnitzer concertina with its with an with the ultimate range. Um, and I hope they make these Chemnitzer concertinas again because um, versatility and popularity really should go together. Again, stay safe.